Alrighty, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. As you can tell, we are on the East Coast. I'm actually getting ready for my half marathon that I'm gonna be running here in a couple days. But there was a, a video uploaded that a lot of people have asked me to talk about. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. This video was uploaded by co-host of the channel, um, Amberlyn Reed. Uh, she uploaded it on her, on her channel and it is titled, The Truth About My Weight Loss Surgery um, and Everything Else I've Been Avoiding. And so there's, there's this is like a 30 minute video and it's basically a Q&A for the whole thing. And so we're not gonna be going over uh, the vast majority of it. There's basically two questions um, that I feel are worth talking about. The first one is she talks about the fact that she was going to be or she was really close to being on a certain reality TV show about weight loss and how that kind of fell through. And then she talks about the fact that, you know, about a year ago or maybe it was even longer ago, and we talked about this as well, where she was actually going to get a weight loss surgery and she was pretty close and then all of a sudden it all kind of fell through and it was all very confusing and she kept saying, oh, I'll tell you in the future, I'll tell you in the future, and that never kind of happened. Um, but now we have finally kind of figured out what was going on, at least through her eyes, and so we're gonna talk about that as well. So A Thousand Pound Best Friends is apparently the show that she was almost on or was talking about being on. What show did you audition for last year? So I am friends with someone from A Thousand Pound Best Friends and we thought it would be a good idea for me to be on that show. So she talked to the producers and they're like, you know what, let's give her an interview. So I had an interview. Feline was my girlfriend at the time and she was 100% supportive. We knew that we were gonna have to actually move to a different state to be a part of that show. And we were both willing to do it. We were willing and ready. I did the interview, it actually went amazing, but I never heard back from them. And I'm not gonna lie to you, this happens a lot. Now I think this is interesting, I don't have any significant problems with you know these reality TV shows. I think that we've we found out that a lot of them are very much so um, s stretch reality, I think is the best way to put it. Um, we've talked about our friend Casey King who was on uh, Family by the Ton, I think is what it was called, and they weren't even a family or cousins or related at all. And so there's a lot of stuff that's not super true, but I am curious why Amberlynn would want to be on a show because she clearly likes to vlog and share her life. And I know with a lot of these shows, you really have to kind of disappear and really not post much on the internet, especially, you know, if you if the whole thing is like, oh, is this person going to lose weight? Are they going to be able to do this? Um, Amberlynn's whole persona and, and the way that she makes money is by sharing her life almost daily, right? And so I am curious if that's even really a good option for her to do. Um, I can understand like the allure of wanting to be on TV because it feels like it's this, um, you know, it's like more prestigious because it's its own show. But I, I'm genuinely not even sure if that would be the best option for her. Um, I don't know, like I think that these shows are, like I've always said, they're, they're very interesting and I think for most people it's like kind of like the whole, you know, the whole, all the TLC shows. It's like a train wreck that you can't look away from. And so, I don't know, like I feel like a lot of people have good experiences, but there's also so many experiences that I feel like people just did not enjoy. And especially like seeing Emberlyn over the years and, and talking about her and, and seeing the way that she interacts, it's, it's clear that she's someone that really likes control, which I mean, I can understand. I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with that. I'm, I, I definitely like control as well. And so I just think it would be difficult for her to actually go through one of those shows. And I'm not even sure if that would be the best thing for her. So who knows, maybe that was actually a blessing in disguise, but I thought that that was an interesting thing that she brought up. So now we're going to get into like the real meat uh, of this video, the, like the, really I think why most people probably clicked on why they wanted to watch this. And it's about why she didn't end up getting weight loss surgery because again, it was like a really big deal and it, it went on for a long time and then kind of just ended and there was never really any answers. What really happened during the weight loss surgery era? Okay, I specifically said repeatedly during that whole era, I will explain later. You guys will see why I'm upset later. I can't tell you now, but I'll tell you later. Later is here and I'm just gonna do it short and quick and to the point. So if you guys remember, I came on my YouTube and I said, oh, I can't get weight loss surgery until I don't binge for a whole year. It came out of nowhere. It was confusing. It was weird. It made no sense. 
but I held on to that and I said, okay, let's do it. Then I had an appointment with my dietitian and she said, you're gonna come meet the surgeon because we need to talk to you about something. And this was before I was even supposed to meet the surgeon. So long story short, hundreds and hundreds of people were emailing my surgeon, finding his Instagram and messaging him. They were contacting my surgeon's office through the phone, through messages, any way that people could contact my surgeon they were finding it and they were doing it. So how did people find out who my surgeon was? A reaction channel. Once they confirmed who my weight loss surgeon was, what did they do? They doxed him. They said, this is Amber Lynn's surgeon. This is who he is. Blah, 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 blah. Well, my surgeon was Dr. Smith. Um, the same surgeon who did Tammy Slayton surgery. I have met him. He is wonderful. He was understanding. So when I met him and we had that meeting, I explained to him everything. He explained to me the type of messages and things that he was receiving. It was people saying how I binged and I lie, I lie, I lie. So not only was I fighting for myself to get weight loss surgery, but I was fighting against hundreds of people because of a careless reaction channel. So it's came out that her surgeon was going to be Dr. Eric Smith. Now, if you're unfamiliar, he was actually on Thousand Pound Sisters. He worked on Tammy um, after it didn't work out with Dr. Proctor. So he was kind of like the second surgeon that worked with them. And so this is someone that is online and posts about themselves up there on an a reality TV show. They have like, you know, I think close to 50,000 followers on Instagram. So like while it's wrong to go and find this person, it's not like it's some private surgeon that is not online, that isn't posting about what they're doing. It's someone that wants to be found that probably wants to work with high profile people because this is probably part of how they grow their business. You know, there's tons of surgeons. Um, I've had a lot reach out to me for like loose skin surgery that have a following on Instagram that are like, oh, we'll give you a discount or you know, if you post about it, you'll, you'll, you know, we'll, again, we'll give you a discount. So it's like, there's plenty of surgeons that are very privy to what's going on online. They understand, they obviously probably don't understand the whole girl world, but they understand like, okay, this is a high profile person online. They're going to have followers. They're going to have maybe people reaching out or whatever. Um, and that's literally why they reach out and want to work with these different people because they understand that the more followers someone have, the more you know, the more their name gets out there, the more people reach out to them. And so like, while I think it's always wrong trying to meddle in someone's actual life, right? Like going out, like whatever reaction channel she's talking about, I'm not gonna get into that, of who like went and found out who who the doctor was and, and emailed them or whatever. I don't think that you should do that. But you know, this is someone, this is a doctor, this is a professional that if they, if they were actually like, really rattled about people messaging you about a client. I don't know, it just seems, it doesn't seem like that's the reason why, you know, you don't end up getting the surgery. And then she ends up bringing up the fact that she told Zachary Michael, who is, um, you know, a channel that reacts to a lot of Amberlynn's videos. As I speak on this, I also want to thank Zachary Michael because he knew about all of this. I actually told him in private, um, I didn't give him like, the rundown, I didn't give him every tiny detail, but he knew who my surgeon was. I went back to try to find the DMs, but I don't know, a lot of DMs were deleted. I don't know if it was because of him or because I had him blocked at one point. It's a mess. I do be blocking, I'm not gonna lie. But just out of respect, I'm not gonna share our DMs because I feel like that's low life. Um, I know reaction channels love to share DMs. It's like their go-to. It's like, oh, Amberlynn messaged me, let me show you. It's like, for real now, come on. But yeah, Zachary Michael knew and he didn't say a word. And in his reactions, he acted like he had no idea. Uh... And he's been doing it for a really long time. Um, but the way that it's brought up does feel very manipulative. If you have a problem with these reaction channels reacting to your videos or you just don't like them that much, I don't understand why you would interact with them and then share this information, right? Like share this private information that you do not want other people to know. It's really important that no one else finds out about this. To talk to a reaction channel that you, you know, you feel is negative and not good and you don't like, right? I know her and Zachary have a 
story past and they've had many ups and downs and blocking each other or whatever. But like, I don't understand, like why would you tell that person if you don't want this information to get out? And I, he clearly didn't share it, so he did respect uh, the boundaries and respected her. But again, that puts him in a really weird position because like now he has this information that obviously, like if he shared it, would be probably really good for his channel and would grow and all that stuff. But like, it just doesn't, I just don't understand why you would tell someone that other than like, it's basically, it seems like a way to kind of like manipulate him almost to make sure he doesn't speak about this stuff. For real now, come on. But yeah, Zachary Michael knew and he didn't say a word. And in his reactions, he acted like he had no idea. Uh, and I feel like a lot of people no, might- No, uh, what was that? <laughs> now what was that? Now what the fuck was that? Was was she now trying to make it sound like I'm being fake? Because she did in fact get mad at me for calling out that she was lying about the situation. She did in fact cuz she was like, "Well, you knew that I was lying about it, so it's unfair for you to for you to call me out for lying about it." Was essentially what she said to me. So I was doing my best to toe the line. So if you're trying to make it out like I'm I'm a bad person, Person for not exposing you right now. <sighs> my my blood is boiling. I don't know. It's it's very. It just doesn't make any sense. Again, like this whole thing, it just is very very strange to to bring up Zachary. Um, and he did a whole reaction to this where he kind of shared how he felt as well. And I can understand like being frustrated and feeling like you were almost used or like um, manipulated into being kind of quiet about it because you have this information and you know that if you shared it, all this stuff would make sense, but now you can't because you know, you've know you made this promise or whatever and good on him for you know kind of keeping it a, a secret or whatever. But at the very end, it's just so funny because all of this stuff is brought up, all of these, oh, this, this is what happened and all of these reasons and all this stuff is going on. But at the end of the day, she says herself that she was the one that decided not to get the surgery. I ultimately did not get weight loss surgery because I didn't feel ready. I, I didn't, I genuinely didn't. I didn't feel like I had the support that I needed because me and my ex, my now ex, we were just going through a lot at the time and it was super expensive, like $35,000. Like it was just like a lot of different things that were causing me to be like, this is not the right choice right now. So. All of this stuff, yeah, while it's annoying and it's all side stuff, that's exactly what it is. It's just all side stuff. She still, Amber, like you still had the option to get this literally life-changing surgery and you just decided not to, right? Because of like these just these silly reasons that in my in my mind are peripheral reasons that shouldn't be the thing that's dictating your life, but all of this online drama ends up being the thing that dictates what you do, how you do what you do, why you say what you say, what actions you take, what actions you don't take. And it's like, what's more important? And like, you always say like, oh, my health is the most important thing. I wanna lose weight because I, I don't care about how I look. I just wanna be healthy. I wanna be around longer. But then you are making all of these decisions, not getting this surgery that could have been huge for you because of online drama and just, uh, oh, my, you know, me and my girlfriend broke up or whatever. Like there is just, I don't know. I, I just don't really, I really don't understand. Like if losing the weight is the most important thing, I think that's what needs to be the focus. Like getting into drama with these other, you know, reaction channels or it just doesn't make any sense. Like there's so much more, there, there, can, there can be so much more to your life than this. Um, but I don't know, like I just, I wanted to share my thoughts on this and kind of update you guys on what's been going on. It's a very interesting kind of situation. I think, again, like one that could be completely avoided in my opinion, but you know, that's kind of the, <laughs> that's kind of the norm at this point. Um, but I would love to know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.